This interesting experiment shows two signals. One is an audio signal and the other is a radio frequency signal. Audio signal is an audible sound signal in the frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Usually converted from sound waves, it represents various characteristics of sound, such as frequency, amplitude and timbre, etc. For example, the sound of people talking, the sound of music playing, etc. Radio frequency signal refers to electromagnetic wave signal with a frequency range of 3 kHz to 300 GHz. It is usually used in wireless communication, broadcasting, radar and other fields, with higher frequency and shorter wavelength. It can carry various information, such as audio, data, images, etc., and transmit through modulation and demodulation. The experiment uses a set of 433 transmitting and receiving modules as carriers to propagate sound. The audio signal is modulated onto the radio frequency carrier with a 433 MHz transmitting module and sent wirelessly. After receiving the signal, the receiving module demodulates the audio signal and plays it through the speaker. According to this principle, we draw the circuit diagram. At the transmitting end. The positive and negative poles of the transmitting module are connected to 5V and GND respectively. The input line of the audio signal is connected to the data pin of the transmitting module. The negative pole of the audio signal is also connected to GND. At the receiving end. The positive and negative poles of the receiving module are connected to 5V and GND respectively. The data pin of the receiving module is connected to the positive pole of the speaker. The negative pole of the speaker is connected to GND. Connect the wires according to the diagram and let's see the results. You can see that the principle is fine, but the effect is not good. After we studied it, we decided to amplify the signal. Let's see the effect. We took two modules. One is a digital amplifier module and the other is an analog amplifier module. The digital amplifier module amplifies the audio signal. 
The analog amplifier module amplifies the received signal. The circuit diagram is changed. The positive pole of the audio signal is connected to the left channel input of the digital amplifier. The negative pole of the audio signal is connected to the ground input of the digital amplifier. The output of the digital amplifier module is selected according to the channel we connect. So we have to choose the positive pole of the left channel of the output end to connect to the data pin of the transmitter module. The positive pole of the power supply of the digital amplifier module is connected to 5V, and the negative pole is connected to GND. In this way, the transmitter is connected. Let's take a look at the receiving end. Receiving end, the data pin of the receiving module is connected to the signal input pin of the analog amplifier module. The input end power supply is connected to 5V, and the other two pins are connected to GND. The signal output pin of the analog power amplifier module is connected to the positive pole of the speaker. The signal output GND pin of the analog power amplifier module is connected to the negative pole of the speaker. Connect the new diagram. Let's see the effect. The effect has changed a lot. The experiment proves that sound can be transmitted through the RF module. In this process, we need to amplify the signal to get a significant effect. Based on this, you can also make a wireless music player. You can also use a more complete music source.
You can also use speakers with better parameters. Continuously improve the effect of this RF wireless transmission sound system.